Um, Hi, I'm Peter Doggers of Chess.com. Uh, this is the Grandmaster Luke van Weyli. He just uh, won his first game, a very good game, against Hikaru Nakamura. Um, yeah, please uh, show us the game, uh, Luke. Yes, I must say that uh, Hikaru lately has been playing d4, but uh, I was expecting him to play e4 anyway, because uh, my Sicilians there are... Well, I think he likes to play against my Sicilian, so... So, e4, c5, knight e3, e6. So, I... I decided just to mix it up a little bit. Last time I played with him, I had uh, I went for the Sveshnikov, but this time I went for some kind of uh, yeah, hybrid of of uh, Scheveningen, in fact. So we arrive at position after d6, uh, and he pl he played this move g4, which looks a bit strange move because. Uh, the knight is still not on f6, but um, it actually it's not a bad move. But uh, I had been checking this move uh, some time ago. Actually, it was of some I not working so hard on my openings anymore. But this move I had checked, so this was kind of okay. Knight e7 because uh, what is the difference with taking on d4 first and then knight e7 c6? Uh, okay, I like just to 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 wait a little because if if I take right away on d4, he takes he goes queen takes and bishop e3 and then he goes back queen to d2. And I think probably that's it's uh, wins the tempo. I just like to to hold hold it uh, back a little bit. Okay, maybe I should play first a6, not to show um, the intention where mm -hmm. my g8 knight is going to. But okay. It's just some detail, so he, mm -hmm. so he's avoiding the. Because he here he can, I think normal people play here still bishop e3. Yeah, that's slightly more popular. Yeah. Yeah, and then I play, I uh, still not taking. Then I, I play a6, a a yeah. and now for example, if you play queen two, I can take on on d4. Then I I, I win the tempo. Okay. But uh, okay, so he went for this move knight b3. It it has some advantages because he's the bishop he keeps the bishop on c1 for a while and uh, normally bishop goes to e3 but in the game it went to f4 so he is trying to make it uh, unattractive for me to to play let's say g6 bishop g7 because of uh, well, h5 and uh, and i had one game against uh, nigel short where i played Somewhere g6, bishop g7, anyway, and uh, I cast kingside and I got mated. <laughs> well, it happens so sometimes. Okay, mm this is all normal. g5, rook c8, queen e2, and this is a kind of interesting moment because I have to choose which direction I'm going. And mm -hmm. actually, I like, I actually have to solve the problem how to develop my pieces, uh, especially yeah, kingside, yeah, especially bishop, bishop on f8. Yeah. Of course, I would like to play here g6, but um, I don't like him to play h5, bishop g7, and now uh, probably he's going to play h6. And, well, okay, I can take here on c3, for example, bc3, but I don't like that he has control of the dark squares, although his pawn structure is compromised, but I like here white, so... So... That's why I, I made this strange looking move h5. But okay, my idea is simple. I just want to play g6, bishop g7, like like in the game. Mm -hmm. And well, if he now he has to act quickly because if I get my bishop on g7, I'm perfectly fine. I was just looking at something like if he castles, I play g6, f4, bishop g7 and f5 and this looks uh, dangerous a bit I think I have this move here knight knight d4 and mm -hmm. the idea is if he takes I check and and okay and later I'm okay I'm not, I can just castle uh, without any problems So, yeah, <coughs> I must say he surprised me a little bit with this move a4. But okay, it 
it has some idea. So, and now I have to, to solve this problem, either the b4 pawn or um, or the bishop on f8. So I, I just went g6, bishop f4, and now it's kind of hard for me to to protect both pawns. Maybe I could try, but I think I went for. I just gave the pawn and I got some active play. This well, it was in the spirit of the Sicilian, and it, okay, um, I'm quite happy that at least uh, that I have some initiative. And it's I, I thought it was quite hard for him to to do something here, but um, so this was all normal, and then he went. He's trying to untangle with. 92 rook d8 and yes uh, now he went for some tricky line and maybe he should have he was saying after the game that he should well, he took took and he had to play b3 but i was thinking rook c3 and he wanted to play something like i don't know rook d2 or something like that but I was thinking d5 is mm -hmm. is coming. So I had the feeling that I, I was going to have sufficient uh, counterplay because I will open up and if he if he wants to close it, I have f5 square for the knight. So, but he he went for some some tricky line which uh, I had uh, seen, but. Well, I I thought I would have, in w in the worst case, very good compensation. But in the game, I got uh, two pawns for the exchange. So, even knight e5 takes bishop e3, rook d4 is forced, and c3. I must say that my first intention was here to play a5. But then I didn't like, for example, here and Queen B5. Although according to uh, to Hikaru, he thinks that after Queen E7 things are still good for Black. But I I don't like it. Uh, looks a bit suspicious to me. Mm. But <coughs> I think the Bishop C6 is uh, is a very good move. And maybe he he blundered something, but uh, I don't know exactly what because he uh, just too easy now. B3, I take the pawn, and it's clear that he is going to D pawn is going to be very strong. Yeah, you have very nice compensation. A4 is also very weak. Yeah, so uh, I was not sure if I should push the pawn right away, or, or but I thought Queen takes A4 first to take this pawn. Queen f3 is a good move. Bishop b5 and queen b4. And idea is if he plays like uh, rook b1, I'm going to simply going to play queen c3 and mm -hmm. and uh, black is uh, much better because the, his rooks are simply not. Uh, if he if he for example if he if he would well take here take here. I could Play even rook, rook c8, and uh, knight c6, knight d4 is coming. Not much he can do about stopping a pawn. So rook a1, and even rook d1. So, and you know the saying that past pawns they have to be pushed. So this was. And okay, he has some kind of uh, grip still on, on my d3 pawn, but queen a2 I think it was a good move, because i just going to be... Uh, were you confident here that you were going to win this game? Not yet, but uh, but I knew that it should be winning, yes. Mm. And, uh, so, and, and this was actually a critical moment, because 
here I spent like most of my time on calculating if D2 was uh, possible because it's the most forcing move and so I decided just to invest a lot of time which is is kind of a gamble because okay I, I could try to keep the position of course mm -hmm. but after D2 well I, I basically saw this line it looked to me like pretty forced and and now I have this knight d4 move and I'll, I also had seen that he can play this rook c8 check king a7 queen c7 which is like the only way for him to to stay in the game mm -hmm. and then I have this queen b1 is very important move you saw it when you played d2 yeah, yeah. and uh, well I think here he is I think he's lost because uh, if he plays King h2, I have bishop e5 check. It's always a nice trick to have. Mm. And then winning the queen. Queen takes e5, knight f3 check. So king g2, I take on e4 with check. So bishop c1 is forced. Now it's important first to give check. <coughs> because if, well, if he goes to um, f1, then I have queen d3 check. And then I'll start to mate him here and, and take here and king goes and whatever, queen h3 and knight f3 mate is coming. Mm. So he had to play king g2, knight takes g4, well, and queen takes e4 and now he, he is uh, passive. So queen f4, check, and now queen b7. Idea is that uh, after, if he plays rook c7, then I'm going to collect the rook with queen f3, check here, and check, right. take, and, and bishop e5, check. Nice. <coughs> yes. Yeah, some small detail just to win some time. And for example, okay, he can play a move like rook c5, but then I have like st still the same motive, bishop d4, and his rook is running out of uh, squares, in fact. So, for example, c2 is a bad square, well, I d it maybe I have more than this, but for example, I can give check here, here and queen check five, it, yeah. queen f5, and taking the rook. That's at least something I'm the minimum. So that's why you went rook d8. Then okay, bishop e5 is a strong move. Well, maybe it's, uh, I had plenty of options, but uh, well, I don't see really what he can do. f4, and then well, I just go to uh, okay, repeat the moves once. Take here and well, for example, if he takes on h4. Bishop takes f4, pony move queen g2, check, oops, not this one, it's going uh, be check, king here, and I was thinking here to play bishop e5, and rather than queen f4 check, king h3, queen f5 check. And I don't see any moves for him here. So that's why he took on e5. Okay, queen takes g5. So threatening queen g4 mate. So if, if he plays here rook d4, I have uh, knight f3. And uh, if he plays something like this, in the worst case, I can uh, take here and take on e5. And uh, yeah. I was looking. Uh, Enjoy the rest. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> I'm quite confident about this end game. <coughs> so uh, Hikao, he just tried one last uh, funny trick, Queen f4. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, if if if, I t but okay, it was quite evident, of course. It takes and. 
and I can take the rook because of stalemate. So, but okay, uh, this was a bit uh, too obvious. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it was not a bad game. No, looks good. Yeah, and especially nice to win after uh, after yesterday when you were. Uh, Missed a couple of wins. What, uh, what yeah. is happening there? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's strange, but it was, it's uh, really a problem for me in this tournament. That uh, what's not not supposed to be that in the in the fifth hour that um, fifth and sixth hour should be very good. So it's something to think about for the future because uh, well, it has to do with uh, concentration and energy and, and stuff like that. Mm. And uh, and sometimes like yesterday when you have so many options. Which all looks so good, and then you want to to choose the best one, and then you start to have some hallucinations, and you miss one thing and then another thing, and mm -hmm. yes, and then uh, in the end, uh, then it's a draw. Yeah, sometimes it's better not to have a choice. Uh, yes, yeah. but that's uh, the same goes with uh, defense. Sometimes you, it's just uh, easier to easier to find the only move mm -hmm. because uh, the rest is simply losing. So yeah, yeah. And it, in this case, you, you yeah you have a choice and uh, well, and okay my opponent basically had nothing to lose. Okay, he can just play and uh, hope for. But normally it should have been finished in in two moves at some point yesterday. But well, so are you now a bit more confident confident about the seven second half? Yes, well, I was not very confident after the first game, which I played really awfully against uh, Kayakin. I played um, many things went wrong in that game. With uh, the icing on the cake was just to screw up some uh, uh, Drawy's uh, rook end game. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but slowly uh, I came back into the tournament and, well, and now I feel really much better. Now at least uh, have some... Uh, Rest day to uh, to think about the uh, last uh, last four games. So it's uh, it's um, okay. Still have uh, especially Aronian with Black is going to be uh, be. Uh, That's a tough one. That could be a tough one, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But okay, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much. Yeah.